Photosynthesis is the process that converts solar energy into chemical energy, which occurs in plants, algae, other protists, and some prokaryotes. Photosynthesis in plants takes place in the chloroplast, which contains an outer membrane and an inner membrane. Chloroplast is filled with dense fluid known as stroma and connected sacs known as thylakoids. The interior of a thylakoid is known as the thylakoid space. Thylakoids are stacked in columns called grana. The net reaction of photosynthesis involves the conversion of six carbon dioxide and six water molecules to one glucose molecule and six oxygen molecules. It is an oxidation reduction reaction in which water is oxidized to oxygen and carbon dioxide is reduced to glucose. The oxidation and reduction take place in two separate stages of photosynthesis. The first stage of photosynthesis involves photophosphorylation, also known as the light reactions, which takes place in the thylakoid membrane. Photophosphorylation oxidizes water to oxygen and transforms light energy into chemical energy of ATP and NADPH. The second stage of photosynthesis involves the Calvin cycle, which is a series of carbon assimilation reactions that take place in the stroma. The Calvin cycle is a biosynthetic or anabolic pathway that couples the energy of ATP and NADPH produced from the light reactions to the reduction of carbon dioxide to sugar. Before we dive into details about photophosphorylation, we first need to get a basic understanding of photopigments, which absorb specific wavelengths of light energy. Wavelengths that are not absorbed are reflected or transmitted, which is the color that we detect. When a photopigment absorbs light, it goes from a ground state to an excited state, which is unstable. When excited electrons decay to the ground state, photons are given off, resulting in an afterglow known as fluorescence. However, during photophosphorylation, the free energy released from the decay of an excited electron is directly transferred to a neighboring molecule in a process known as exciton transfer. Chlorophyll A is the primary photopigment in plant photosynthesis. It absorbs violet, blue, and red light, while reflecting green light, which contributes to the green color we see in leaves. In addition to chlorophyll A, plants also contain secondary photopigments known as accessory pigments, including chlorophyll B and carotenoids, which broaden the absorption spectrum of a plant. Accessory pigments also function in dissipation of excessive light energy, a process known as photoprotection. Photophosphorylation or light reactions begin in photosystem 2, which contains a reaction center complex surrounded by light harvesting complexes. First, a photon strikes the light harvesting complex of photosystem 2, exciting a photopigment. The light energy is relayed among several photopigments through exciton transfer until it reaches a special pair of photopigment in the reaction center known as P680. Excitation of P680 donates electrons to the primary electron acceptor, pheophyton, abbreviated as pheo. The electron removed from P680 is replaced by an electron obtained from the oxidation of water, releasing oxygen as a byproduct. Pheophyton then transfers electrons to plastonquinone A, abbreviated as PQA, which in turn passes its electron to another plastonquinone, abbreviated as PQB reducing it to the quinol form. The reduced PQB donates electrons to cytochrome B6F, which in turn transfers electrons to plastocyanin. This sequence of electron transfer is similar to the respiratory electron transport chain in oxidative phosphorylation, in which electron transfer to electron carrier with higher and higher reduction potential releases free energy that is coupled to the pumping of protons from the stroma into the thylakoid space. This creates a proton motive force as protons diffuses down their electrochemical gradient out of the thylakoid space, which is coupled to ATP synthesis by ATP synthase in a process known as chemiosmosis. Both mitochondria and chloroplasts exploit the electrochemical gradient of proton to generate ATP by chemiosmosis, but they have different sources of energy and spatial organization. Mitochondria transfer chemical energy from food to ATP whereas chloroplasts transform light energy from photon to ATP. In mitochondria, the electron transport chain pumps protons out of the mitochondrial matrix into the intermembrane space, whereas in chloroplasts, the electron transport chain pumps protons from the stroma into the thylakoid space. As a result, the intermembrane space has lower pH in mitochondria, and the thylakoid space has lower pH in chloroplasts. 
Photo System 1 involves similar events as Photo System 2. A photon strikes the light harvesting complex, exciting a photopigment. Light energy is relayed among several photopigments through exciton transfer until it reaches P700 in reaction center complex. The excited P700 then donates electrons to the primary electron acceptor A0, which is homologous to pheophyton in photosystem 2. This time around, plasocyanin serves as an electron donor to replace the electron removed from P700. A0 then transfers electrons to phyloquinone, abbreviated as A1, then through three iron sulfur centers in photosystem 1 to ferrodoxin, abbreviated as FD. Lastly, the ferrodoxin donates electrons to NADP+, reducing it to NADPH, which is catalyzed by NADP plus reductase, completing the light reaction. The NADPH generated by NADP plus reductase and the ATP generated by ATP synthase will provide energy for biosynthesis of carbohydrate in the Calvin cycle. Note that the yellow line indicates the transfer of exciton, the blue line indicates the flow of electron, and the pink line indicates flow of proton. As you can see from the blue line, electrons from water molecule flows linearly to NADPH. Besides linear electron flow, photophosphorylation may also involve cyclic electron flow, in which ferrodoxin transfer electrons back to cytochrome B6F instead of NADP+. The cyclic electron flow uses only photosystem 1 and produces ATP but not NADPH. The partitioning of electrons between linear and cyclic electron flow allows plant to adjust the ratio of ATP to NADPH produced in photophosphorylation to match its need for these products in Calvin cycle and other biosynthetic processes. The Calvin cycle takes place in the stroma of chloroplast. It involves three phases. During carbon fixation, the enzyme Rubisco fixes three carbon dioxide to ribulose bisphosphate, generating six molecules of 3-phosphoglycerate. During the reduction phase, six molecules of 3-phosphoglycerate is converted to six molecules of glycerolaldehyde 3-phosphate, which requires the hydrolysis of 6 ATP and the reduction of 6 NADPH from the light reaction. One molecule of 3-phosphoglycerate leaves the cycle and the rest enters phase 3, which regenerates ribulose bisphosphate, abbreviated as RUBP, starting a new round of Calvin cycle. The regeneration phase requires hydrolysis of 3 ATPs. Glucose is generated from two molecules of glycerolaldehyde 3-phosphate during gluconeogenesis. Therefore, each glucose requires two rounds of Calvin cycle, involving 6 carbon dioxide, 18 ATPs, and 12 NADPH. In summary, photosynthesis involves two stages. Photophosphorylation or light reaction converts light energy to NADPH and ATP through a series of electron transfers, with water as the initial electron donor and NADP plus as the final electron acceptor, releasing oxygen as a byproduct. The free energy released in this process is used to pump proton into the thylakoid space, which diffuses back into the stroma to generate ATP. Linear electron flow involves both photosystem 2 and photosystem 1, and generates both ATP and NADPH, whereas cyclic electron flow involves only photosystem 1 and generates ATP but not NADPH. ATP and NADPH generated by photophosphorylation is used to fuel the second stage of photosynthesis, known as the Calvin cycle, which involves the net conversion of 3 carbon dioxide into glycerolaldehyde 3 phosphate, which can be converted to glucose through gluconeogenesis.